hello guys so today we are going to uh, see how to do the AMI and GG by plot analysis using PB tools so PB tools is an open source software which is released by IRRI so first of all we will start with the data file format in Excel so I have already typed the data so this is your Excel sheet so you have to type in the data for season genotype replication and your dependent variable which is uh, I have taken it as uh, yield per plant so you can see that we are go uh, going to give numbers instead of any g1 g2 or r1 r2 we are going to simply give numbers so this is season 1 and genotype 1 and replication 1 data so likewise you can see the second season data so uh, it is just continuously we have to enter this data so this is the second season data and this is the third season data so you will be needing a minimum of three season data or three environmental data so that you can proceed with the stability analysis any type of uh, stability analysis so this is the data file format so now we have to save this in a uh, special format which is suitable for pb tools so we are just going to click the file and just click the save as option just select a destination i am going to select desktop and i am going to uh, type ypp ami as the file name and here in the save as type we have to select this csv comma delimited so your excel file will be uh, saved as dot csv file so we are just giving it as uh, the csv file type and we will save this file so it is uh, it has been saved now so uh, we will now open the pb tools software so this pb tools along with the star pa statistical package is available in the official website of iri so it is a free software so everyone can download it from there so now coming to so this is the workspace of uh, plant breeding tools or the pb tools software so now uh, click on this project the tab project you can create a new project now so just give a name for your project like ami and gg something like that and click ok so a folder will be opened in your destination so upon installing itself uh, you will be asked where you have to save the output files and all so i have selected uh, my one of my local disks so whatever your preference you can select and those these <coughs> projects will be saved automatically there itself okay so this is the ami uh, folder now we have to import the data so you are seeing a folder called data so just right click on that and just click import data so now uh, go to the file destination i have saved it in desktop as uh, ypp ami so this is the .csv format you can see uh, distinguish that from other uh, excel files because it will be having an, uh, a letter called a in that so just open it so just click on this drop down menu and you can see it has been successfully uploaded so this uh, this has to be uh, loaded in this worksheet so that we can do the analysis if there is any error we have to uh, <coughs> modify the excel file format and again upload the uh, upload the data so now this is the data we are having the data now we have to click on this analysis tab so under the analysis tab we have to do the multi environment ana ana analysis so under this we have uh, three options one is one stage analysis two stage analysis and g into analysis and under g into analysis we have two types of models one is the stability models which gives you the finlay and regression method of stability and this multiplicative model gives you this ami and gg model so prior uh, before going to this g into e analysis we have to do a one stage analysis so that we have to get a residual variance prior uh, before going to this g into e analysis so 
just uh, click on this analysis tab and under multi environment analysis just click one stage analysis so a dialog box will be opening so we have to select the type of design so we have uh, so many of options as i have done this uh, i have taken this data from a rbd design so i am going to select that rbd you can also have this augmented latin square alpha lattice there is latinus uh, raw column there are some uh, pre-given designs here so i am going with this rcb so now <coughs> we are having a number of numerical variables so we are now uh, we have to manually assign the response variable so here the response variable will be your trait uh, here i am taking the yield so whatever your trait of interest you have to select it on the uh, select and add to the response variable so here i am only taking only one trait of interest you can add multiple traits as you wish in your uh, data file itself but i in my personal opinion i prefer going with only one trait of interest at a time because it can get bit confusing with all the output files uh, just listed out here so i am i usually prefer going with one trait of interest so we have added the response variable here <coughs> And now the remaining numerical variables has to be set to this factor column, this factors column. So we will set to factor one by one. So just click on it and just click the, on this set to factor. Now we have to add each to its own uh, position. Now under this environment position, we have to just select this season or your environment uh, data and click add. Again, under this, uh, for this genotype, just click on the genotype, uh, the column giving the genotype uh, values and just click add. Now coming to the block, just click on now the replication because this block represents your number of replication and your, the column that is representing the replication. So just click add that. So that's all. Then click OK. So the operation is in progress. So it doesn't, uh, it hasn't shown any error. So our uh, basic data or our raw data is good enough. So uh, under this one stage analysis, we are, we are not concerned about this uh, output statistics, but you can see that under the output uh, in this output uh, folder, you can see a .csv files named as residuals fixed. So you just click on that, a new tab will open open up where you can see your uh, basic raw data such as season, genotype, replication and YPP and you will be having three more extra columns co called coded geno code and environment and an YPP that's your, your yield per plant residuals fixed. So this variance, this residual fix, uh, fixed variance is very much essential for it is a must for AMI GG analysis. So, whatever AMI GG analysis we are now going to do will be based on this residuals fixed.csv file, not your uh, raw data CSV file. Okay. So, keeping this as base, now again click the analysis tab. Now go for multi environment analysis. Under that, go for G into E analysis and click multiplicative models so another similar dialog box will open up and we have to just assign the appropriate column to the appropriate boxes so for now response variables again it is will be our ypp just add that and coming uh, now the second uh, requirement is your residual variance which we have now uh, found out using that one stage analysis so just select that column ypp residuals fixed and just add it to this box again the number of replicates that is your replication select on that and click add now these three boxes should be added to this summary table just click on add to table so these have been added to the table summary table now uh, again we have to set the remaining season and genotype uh, variables to factors just click on the season click set to factor and repeat the same for genotype 
so we can leave this coded geno and coded environment as such because it is uh, not useful for us again in this environment box just select this uh, factor season and add it to the environment box and for this genotype we have to add this genotype factor just click add then now you can click this tab called options where you can see uh, you can uh, select the required by plots and uh, the maps you require so the default is ami and you will get a ami by plot pc1 versus pc2 graph so we can also check this box because ami and gg both will be useful in interpreting the stability analysis and the environmental interactions if you want you can also go for the response plot and adaptation plots but uh, i would rather prefer with this ami gg and this pc by plots so just uh, click the requirements and click ok so it has been successfully uh, analyzed the data and it is given in this column this residual fixed output folder so this is your uh, summary output output.txt you can see it here so as such you can see here this is the ami ANOVA the ANOVA for ami and this is the ANOVA for gg so here you can see uh, the probability value also so here the probability value for this pc1 and uh, pc2 is zero indicating this pc1 and pc2 are highly significant for ami whereas in gg both pc1 2 3 all the three principal components are highly significant so you can take this data for your ami table so you know your anova table and also you can see the uh, in the output file itself you can see ami pc scores ypp.csv so it is also in that .csv file format you can see the individual pc but the principal component scores for all the genotypes and along with your environment e1 e2 and e3 again you can see the principal component scores for this uh, gg by plots also so you can see that here so using these pc scores only they have plotted the by plots you can see here also one by one so from the beginning it is ami by plot one against this pc1 and your uh, rate of interest here it is ypp and the second one is your ami by plot two it is uh, plotted between pc1 and pc2 similarly you can see gg by plot environmental view and the gg by plots environmental view 2 and the gg by plot genotype view and the second genotype view for the gg by plot and the most important gg what one pair by plot so similarly you can get some one two three four five six seven by plots and you can interpret as you like so this is all about this is a simple procedure using pp tools it is very uh, reliable as this pp tools and stars statistical package use uh, r program for analysis so you can just uh, do this by yourself so that's all about uh, this uh, me and gg by plot uh, thank you for listening hope it was uh, useful